Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to finally be getting outside and back to doing something that I really love, which is gardening. Um, we had kind of a very odd winter um, here in Minnesota. We just finally got past um, last week. We're in the middle of May, kind of going towards the end actually. Um, we just got past having nights down into the 30s. So I haven't been outside planting much. Um, obviously like the spring bulbs and some of the spring plants have come up a lot of stuff is greening out um, which is exciting to see but i haven't done a lot in the garden which is why i've been kind of quiet here on youtube so i appreciate you all sticking with me um, but today i wanted to hop on here and do a video on direct sowing uh, vegetables in my vegetable garden so this year i decided not to start seeds inside for a couple of reasons last year i had a heck of a time doing that um, I went through three crops of seeds and they all just petered out for whatever reason. And I'm sure it's just I didn't have the right setup. I probably wasn't staying on top of the watering as best as I could. And it just ended up being a lot of work. So last year I bought starts, which is totally fine. And sometimes it's worth it, even though it's going to be more expensive in the long run to buy starts. Um, it just was what I did last year. So this year I decided to direct sow some stuff. <laughs> and I've never direct sowed um vegetable seeds so i have no idea what this is going to do i don't know if it's going to produce anything i have no idea i'm not an expert on direct sowing um but i figured i'd give it a try worst case scenario i can buy some starts if stuff is just not working out but anyways i wanted to bring you guys along for that ride and kind of walk through some of the things that i'll be planting today so today i'm going to start with planting some um different lettuces so we've got butter crunch uh we've got kale as well and then romaine lettuce i'm also going to do some rainbow carrots uh, not all these have pictures but there's a picture um, some celery snowball cauliflower um, i think it's uh, waltham broccoli red bell peppers uh, chadwick cherry tomatoes black sea man tomatoes so this is the tomato if you guys have been following me on instagram um, that i had uh, pictured last year on my instagram account and it is a wonderful tomato it's an heirloom tomato um, it has a very kind of dark iridescent uh, skin and the inside is like a very deep ruby red so if you're not following me on instagram go check out my instagram channel um, to see pictures of this this was a wonderful tomato and it has a nice sweet taste to it it was wonderful to eat last year so uh, roma tomato ancho pepper jalapeno pepper and california giant bell pepper so those are what i'm going to plant starting today um, i do have all sorts of other seeds like i'm going to do corn this year um, broom corn uh, pumpkins squashes um, watermelon cantaloupe um, all sorts of stuff so vining crops but i don't have that area prepped just yet so we're going to hold off on planting those um, plus i have a couple weeks before i really need to get that start stuff started so um, anyway, so come along for the ride and we'll go ahead and get some stuff planted in the garden. I am sweating up a storm, um, but I am super excited that I finally got some of those seeds planted. So a couple things I wanted to explain. What you saw me kind of pouring on the soil before I started tilling it in was 
um, some Espoma plant tone. I usually do biotone mixed in, but I didn't have biotone, so I did plant tone. Basically, it's a slow release, slow release fertilizer that gets mixed into the soil. Um, that is That soil was new last year. Um, it was a mix of compost and, um, and some other things, but uh, obviously some of the nutrients have drained out of it from last year's crop. So I wanted to till in some uh, fertilizer so that um, those seedlings have a really great jump start and then something to feed them as they continue to grow. So um, yeah, so a couple tips. What you wanna do when you're planting seeds is make sure you read the back of the package or look it up online because you want to check how you're supposed to sell them. Some you're supposed to just sprinkle and then you have to thin it out. Others you want to do specifically spaced apart. Um, in either case, you're going to want to thin out your seedlings. So as they start to sprout, you want to take a look at, um, you know, some of the tips that I can give you on thinning are look at um, which of the stalks look maybe the strongest or more sturdy. Um, or have the best chance of surviving, aren't leaning to the side, more straight. Anything that's um, kind of scraggly or leaning to the side or just doesn't look as strong, you just want to pinch it off at the base um, and then let the stronger one continue to grow. Um, you did see me put a couple of seeds, two to three seeds in each hole. Now I do that because there's a chance that some of those seeds won't germinate, so you want to make sure that you at least have one germinate. So you want to put multiple in the hole if you can. And then, like I said, that's when you're going to want to, when they sprout, thin them out to just one plant in that area. So um, this is kind of an experiment for me. Like I said this year, I haven't ever direct sowed vegetables before. Flowers and wildflowers and all that stuff. Yes, that's um, been something I've done in the past. So wish me luck. I'll keep you guys updated. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to get out and get in the garden, plant some stuff, watch it grow. If anything, just enjoy the process. We'll talk to you later.